Hey everybody, it's Vicki Weber from At Home Author, and today we're going to talk about the pros and cons of having an ebook version of your children's picture book. This is a common question that comes up when people are considering what format they want their self published book to be in. So let's start with the pros. Firstly, having an ebook version of your children's picture book is a great idea because it gets you in front of more readers. It's been estimated that about 30% of all readers prefer ebook to physical copies. And while that is a smaller percentage, by not offering an ebook version of your book, you're actually turning yourself off to that potential market. There are a number of reasons why a customer might prefer ebooks. Maybe they don't have a lot of space. Ebooks do tend to be cheaper, so it could be a financial concern or they want to conserve paper and prefer to read digitally. No matter what the reason is, by having an ebook version of your children's picture book, you're suddenly opening yourself up to the full market of readers instead of a small portion. Another pro is that ebooks help support your marketing efforts. What I mean by that is if you use KDP and are enrolled in KDP Select, also known as Kindle Unlimited, then you get five free promotion days every three months to use. That's a great way to get more eyes on your book, get in front of more people, and gain a little bit more traction. If you think about how expensive it would be to hand out physical books for free, you'd put yourself in a hole really quickly. So offering an ebook version is a great way to provide a little preview. And if people like the ebook version, of your picture book, they're highly likely to go and purchase a physical copy. Another benefit is that when you read an ebook, it prompts you at the end to leave a review. So having an ebook version will actually help boost your reviews because it's going to actually ask people when they're done reading the book to leave a review. The con that goes with this is sometimes it's children who are reading the ebooks. So sometimes they don't realize that the star rating actually means something. They might think it's a game or they give you a one star because they think first place is the best. They don't think five stars is the best. So there's a pro and a con there. For me, it's been an overwhelming pro, but some people have found that their low ratings come because children are the ones reading the ebook and if their parent isn't over their shoulder, the child leaves the rating without a review. Another pro though is that having an ebook can actually increase your rankings and your credibility. What I mean by that is most picture books are not in ebook categories. They're primarily focused on the physical categories. And so in doing that, the competition in ebook categories is significantly lower. In some categories, you only need to make one sale a day to hit the top 10 in that category. One ebook sale a day. That's it. So you have a high chance of becoming highly ranked or even a bestseller if you have an ebook purely because the competition is significantly lower. If you want to look up more about how to pick the right categories to give yourself the best chance of becoming a bestseller, make sure you check out our video all about that. The biggest downside to having an ebook is that they tend to sell significantly less than physical copies of children's picture books. So you're not going to make a ton of money off of them, but every little bit counts in increasing your sales, your visibility, and getting you in front of the right people. But it doesn't cost you anything to have an ebook up on KDP. So it's something to consider that there are this many pros, very few cons. I hope this has been helpful. Don't forget to check out our other YouTube videos for more about the publishing industry. And don't forget to like and subscribe and check the description below for other helpful resources and what to watch next.